welcome to vlogmas day 23 um hubby left quite a while ago it's 27 um son's still in bed um he'll be getting up in a few minutes so i thought what i'll do is i'll make a start and casually and um sort of um pace myself and try and get as much of the housework done as i can today because i want to try and leave um christmas eve free due to its hubby's birthday as well so um yeah i haven't got the tree on i think um heating's on um so um i can't make too much noise so i won't be hoovering but i can get some you know um dusting done i did my reset last night so hopefully you'll follow me along today on this clean video and you can either clean along with me or um put your feet up with the drink relax and watch me clean
just explaining what I'm doing. I did, I know you're supposed to concentrate on one area at a time. It doesn't always work. You know what it's like, especially when family members are around. Um, I did get an early start. Um, it's just coming up to upstate. Um, I did have, um, when I was doing the packing up, making drinks, talk to hubby. Um, when he's out the door, if I haven't already done our son's packing up, I do our son's packing up. And um, I did a bit of dusting, as you know, and seen previously. Um, I took a break then because I don't like hoovering, disturbing if anybody's in bed or neighbours. Although I don't always think they're as considerate back, but that's just me. Especially upstairs because, I say, got laminated flooring in our bedroom. And then I took a break, had my coffee. You saw me sitting here. Um, I sit and have a little natter to our son. Due to the fact that then I'm on my own all day until well into the evening. Um, it's just how it works out. It probably will, will be a bit different tonight because Hubby's supposed to be finishing um, a little bit earlier. Fingers crossed. Um, it's his last day today. Um, and as I say, they were given um, tomorrow off um, for pay, so um, that's something. I think after the time it's down to the director and everything, you know, and the bosses, you know, wanting that extra bit of time with their family, so uh, I think it's probably a win-win all, all way around. So I do my 30 minutes tidy up. Um, I've done some laundry. I haven't shared all this. Um, usually, you know, it's when I stop... <laughs> So I don't want to stop too long and natter too long, else I will um, lose the momentum, if that makes sense. I really want to go. I, I normally have a, well, have coffee. Um, then I will probably have, um, in between, have um, a glass or sip through a glass of um, Pepsi Max, just because of the caffeine. I can't cut it all out. And between all that, I have water. So I will be... Um, hydrated all the way through um, but yes yeah, so I tend to do my tidy it might seem weird um, but I'm, I'm just explaining even if I'm going to do a full clean I make sure I've made the beds done my 30 minute um, tidy up pick up laundry and that sort of thing not so much now because of everything that's going on but I've had it before where yeah, I thought, oh, I'll do one room at a time, like make the bed, clean the bedroom, then go on to the next room, and then had a phone call, emergency or whatever, and had to go out, do you know what I mean? I'd rather have the beds made, generally tidied up, and then go back and clean everywhere. It may make um, sense to some of you, it may not to others. It's just like um, when I've um, been rushed to hospital or something, um, for whatever reason or appointment, emergency appointment. Uh, last Christmas, um, I'm not going through the stories, I had ended up in a &E about three times I think for different things and uh, it's just nice you know to <laughs> know that as much as can be done before <laughs> anything else happens if that makes sense. Um, yeah it probably does make more work but at least I know then um, it's in a reasonable state if anything happens if you know what I mean any emergency or called up it's like last year you know I would drop everything um, if one of my friends um, contacted me says oh do you want to meet for coffee do you want to do a bit of shopping coffee shopping that sort of thing I know it's not possible now but that's just a thing and if I've done everything early on by the time any phone calls or people start going online or messaging and everything you know you can think well at least I'm coming back to a reasonable state if that makes sense so I'm going to go back now and carry on with the lounge because I've got um, I will say there is certain points and I put my hands up that haven't been cleaned on top of units mantle I haven't really done a thorough clean because I don't want to dislodge all my um, garland if that makes sense let's face it how many of you think especially like me you've got a lot of stuff around um not so much tinsel and glitter but things do have tend to have um glitter so you have that little bit of fallout it doesn't matter about the tree whatever it's you can't get out of it can you it's everywhere even if you haven't used tinsel there's still if you've got a real tree or an artificial one you're still gonna have um fallout so um 
there's certain things I feel as though you can't clean as well, like down here. Um, no, I don't remove everything. I know it's got that um, snow blanket on, whatever you like to call it. But what I will do is, that's why I have used these placemats that you normally have on the dining table, coasters, so I can wipe those um, down. And it's quite a big area, this is just it, because I'm not going to take everything off. Um, as I said, um, there's less hassle and also um, less likely anything's going to get broken if I keep moving it. Um, certain areas is fine, but um, I'm not reaching up. I wouldn't say it's a thorough deep clean. I did that before the decorations went up and that will happen when the decorations come down. But as you know, I just want to get it into a, a fair state. Um, so I haven't got to do any cleaning for the next two, three days, except my usual 30 minutes, which actually includes any washing up and making the beds and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna get on and carry on with the lounge.
can't believe it's 20 to 12 and it's pitch dark. But then again, it's not particularly nice. It is absolutely chucking it down with rain. Um, it seems really, really dark. I haven't actually switched the lamps and the lights off this morning. It makes you feel as though you want to just snuggle up and watch a Christmas movie, I must admit. But no, I am dead set on getting everything done or as much as I can um, this morning or at least today. Um, don't know if we're going to go out shopping yet, food shop, due to the fact that I couldn't get a Iceland slot or any other delivery. And when we went in and nipped into Tesco's, um, I think it was Saturday, um, the problem was um, there wasn't very long dates on the pieces that I wanted. So there you are. So I'm going to get on and um, I'll be soon um, starting the upstairs. Yeah, I've just switched the lamp off. I can't believe how dark it is. As I said, it feels as though it's um, getting into the evening time. But as I said, it's not brilliant, the weather. Um, and yeah, I've got all my roofs out of the windows. Um, but there you are. You can't be helped, can it? I think I'm going to have to um, sort of stick my lamp back on. As I said, uh, and even probably have my um, overhead light on as well. Um, I'm going to be doing the dining room next. I've got the um, laundry to put away. And look, hubby made me this. Let's do it that way so hopefully I'm trying not to get some glare on it. Um, so I'll go home and away with the owl. Because he knows I'm really mad on owls. So he made me that. I'm just going to polish it. And I've got some laundry to put away. Um, but then I say I've got the dining room to um, do. I did sort of have a um, break. Had breakfast, sat down. Then I had difficulty in getting going. So I want to get the dining room done. And then I can start the upstairs. And obviously I've got more laundry because I'm keeping the laundry going. Because christmas eve and christmas day i don't tend to do any laundry i know i say i do laundry every day unless there's an emergency and have to do some then um i will do it but i try not to do any laundry and that means that my error then can be collapsed and um you know so i'm not looking at washing while we're having our christmas dinner okay so i was taking a mini break having um something to drink so i've been sorting out packaging rubbish sort of my medication out putting in my little um pouch so it's easy access um to my everyday medication um and so i obviously take the labels off so they can be burnt and then the rest of the papers and cardboard can then be recycled i've um completed another yellow box so i'll have to get those picked up probably in the new year that's for my needles for my insulin so more rubbish and um yeah so i'm gonna get on because as i said i don't like to i like these mini breaks but i have to be very careful that i don't sit too long i'm sure you like this especially when you're on a roll and then you don't want to get started again plus i'm not 100 percent sure what time hubby is finishing today he said it might be um a little bit earlier half four today because it's got no overtime and they they said they wanted to close the factory up earlier but i'm not sure if they're going to close any earlier than that possibly not um because i know they were quite busy yesterday so and i also um got a pile of receipts also to go in my box ready to be burnt okay i've just received some mail this is from anne from crafty batty um, I've turned it this way around because obviously my private details are on the other side. Um, I might actually have to um, get some, well, maybe I'll be alright. <laughs> I was about to say get some scissors. So, just do it this way. 
I know it was jingling. sticking out and it's got it's a card I'll just have a quick look right so what it says inside is hi Denise I got this little Christmas stocking um, from Poundland to use to make some of my Christmas cards this year um, your one can be unhooked off the button if you want to um, use it afterwards I wanted to put your husband's initial on it, but I don't remember ever saying it. It is actually Christopher, but that's okay. So Merry Christmas, dear friend, and um, to all your family, love from Anne and Hubby. And she's put this little stocking on there, and it's got this owl sticking up, and it's on this button that can be unhooked which I will do and I'll put it on our Christmas tree along with everything else so thank you Anne I appreciate that and I'll hang that up on the tree
okay i had to come to a standstill with my cleaning and time's getting on now due to the fact that hubby finished a little bit earlier it finished at four o'clock and so i was able to go um to tesco's to get some of the non the sorry the perishable stuff because when we popped in saturday the they only had like the 23rd on a lot of produce and that's no good for us when we want it obviously for um christmas eve christmas day and slightly beyond um beyond that um i was trying to um you know have a discussion with um a couple of clerks there but i wasn't happy i don't know maybe people can answer this question is some of the produce have got dates on that's what i prefer i'm old school this way but a lot of the produce hasn't got dates on when i asked about it the, one of the assistants he was quite a young one said because he has a code on i said how am i supposed to know what that code is three five six if that's what they're referring to how am i supposed to know what that code represents basically what i think he was saying is that's how many days i don't know 356 i don't know i, I don't understand it myself but i thought by law they are supposed to have dates on produce and and I am thinking um, at some point to contact Tesco's and ask them to explain this, why they haven't got dates on produce. Um, because how am I supposed to know um, what the codes represent? Maybe someone can notify me. If you know what the answer is to that question, you know, it, it was annoying because I'm looking at dates and trying to get them, you know, at a reasonable date so we've got them to last because i don't want to have to go back out and we have got a um iceland shop come in um on sunday to replenish my freezer but anyway so these two lots i know these were 29p each these are actually for christmas day we do get through a lot of potatoes with roast and mash and then this was one pound fifteen, I think it was. But these got these have actually got the date on, which is what I was relieved because these are for Boxing Day. They are slightly larger potatoes because I want those with turkey and um, you know sort of buffet food um, for Boxing Day. So that's not too bad. Ignore that. That's what hubby's brought back from work. Who were getting having lagers and beers and everything given to them. Um, the Pepsi Max is actually, I think it was £5.50, which is the cheapest I've seen it. Um, Pringles are still a pound each. And I think this is what we're having tonight. This is the um, barbecue pulled pork. We're having that in rolls with a cheesy coleslaw and tomato. And I think that was £4.00. I'm not sure how much the apples were. Again, I think it's something to do with this code here. Again, no date. I mean, fair enough. I think it's something, again, I'm, I'm not going to keep going over this, but especially for a senior citizen or something, if I can't work it out, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Um, but there you are. Maybe, as I said, if you know, let me know. Um, two lots of rolls, one is for tonight and bread to go in the freezer because obviously I could not get a slot again. Um, yes, yeah, so I've managed to get a date on these. These are the 28th of December, so at least we've got a bit of date on those. Cheesy coleslaw said I was looking at the dates on everything. 5th of January for the potato salad. Um, 2nd of January for the Scott eggs. 31st of December for the pork pies and 20 you see this is the this is the only date they had um it was either the 25th or the 26th of December so this is the I say the latest date I could get which was the 26th for such rolls but that's not a problem because they're going to be eaten tomorrow anyway and two oranges ready for the turkey um 
because um, hubby uses um, the zest of an orange in his butter for the skin of the um, turkey and he also puts um, fruit you know like oranges actually in the carcass as well so that's his department again the oranges did not have dates on them so I don't know but I presume got to be trustworthy of Tesco's that they are the correct and well in date so that is my little mini shopping haul so that should be it and as i said hopefully um all the rest of the shopping will come after christmas on the sunday and hopefully then it's going to be maybe two weeks or so unless we need bread and milk um to have to go shopping so i'm going to leave it there i'm going to have a bath and then i've got to go and um finish the cleaning because funny enough i haven't done the upstairs i haven't finished upstairs so um yeah i'm hoping it, time's gonna run away with me but i really would like to try and get it done tonight if i can